Hello everyone and welcome to another super science video for the Mass Senate Regional Library. I'm Miss Stephanie, one of the children's librarians here, and today we're going to be doing a kind of an open-ended experiment or a challenge on a type of simple machines. And simple machines are all around us in the world. They make life easier for us because they help us do less work. And one of the mach simple machines is called an inclined plane. And an inclined plane is it's turns at a slant or an angle, as you can see here, and you can move an object from a lower level to a higher level, and it makes it easier to do that. And one type of inclined plane is a ramp, but there's something that has a lot of inclined planes in it, and that is a roller coaster. So our challenge today is about a roller coaster. You're gonna make a small roller coaster, and out of things you can find around your house, um, I'm using a marble, to as the kind of like the to you know substitute for the car and I wanted to, this to be a creative activity so it's kind of open-ended but I'm gonna have three rules and I'll have them in a slide later on in this video but the first is you have to use a cardboard piece as your base and this is just something I cut up from an old package that I got in the mail just um, about this size it's about 12 inches by 18 but if you want to go a little bigger a little smaller that's up to you then the next one is that your marble must end up in a cup. And there's lots of different cups you can use. I highly recommend, if this is your first time making a roller coaster, use something that has a little wider of a opening. That makes it a little easier for the marble to come in. And the last condition of this challenge, you cannot use any glue at all. You can use tape. There's lots of different tapes. We've got some duct tape. We've got electrical painter's tape works, masking tape works. If you want to use scotch tape, that's great. But you cannot use any type of glue, just tape. And here's a couple other things that you might be able to use around your house. And if you can think of something else, that's great. Just make sure you have your adult's permission to do it. Some, some of the other things are like paper towel rolls, like a toilet paper roll, straws. I use them for mine a paper plate that you can cut into smaller pieces for a track, or aluminum foil, which you can kind of make a track as well. And one of the most important things you need in this is a very good pair of scissors. So ask your adult for a very strong pair of scissors to use. And my, as you're gonna see in a minute, my roller coaster is a little on the plain side, but if you want, you can decorate yours with markers or paint it. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you what I did. guys this is the roller coaster I made it took me a couple hours to do it and I'm not gonna I wasn't gonna like show you all two hours that it took to make it but I did want to kind of show you what I did and something about science is that good scientists they share what they've learned with other scientists the mistakes they made and hopefully me telling you the mistakes I made when I made this will help you make it easier for you to build your roller coaster and I'm just gonna before we see it in action I'm just gonna show you a few things that I did with it some of the problems I had is that I, it was too wobbly at first and I had made the inclined planes on this too steep. So the marble was flying off the tracks. I had used um, these go up a bit so the marble stays in them, but I was using paper plates and it flew off the track really easily too. The corners were very tricky and there's a lot of things you can do to make it work. What I did is I kind of like kind of have this tall wall so it won't fly off the track, which was a problem I had a lot when I was doing it, and just kind of like make sure that everything tilts down to get it to work. And let's see, what else? Tape is your friend. You can't use glue, but tape is your friend, and I used a lot of it. Longer pieces of tape helped it make more stable. It's more stable and less likely to peel off. I, as you can see, the straws were a good stabilizer because I didn't use them and it was really wobbly, and sometimes the track would fall off or it just like wouldn't, it would just stop because it wouldn't work. And there was one more thing I wanted to tell you guys that, oh, it is, it's, it might not look pretty, but it's how well it works. And you want to build it one track at a time. The, you want to make sure you have a very good base first because I didn't do that. I tried to build it like the base and then the track and then the base and the track. But I would recommend doing all of your base first. I used toilet paper towel rolls for my base, but you can find other things around your house that would work well as a base too. So here it is, let's see it in action. Okay, so we're gonna get a close up view of this roller coaster in action. And I took the camera off the tripod so things are gonna be a little wobbly. So let's put the marble in and let's see those inclined planes in action. Going down the corner. 
and into the cup. Yay, it's a success. And as you can see, I used a lot of tape, which was very important to keep it stable. And everything, like just be, when you're doing your incline planes, make sure that they're steep, but not so steep that the marble flies off the track. But if they're flat, the marble's not gonna go anywhere. Let's see that one more time. There we go, down the ramp. All right, going in there, boom, success. All right, well, I hope your roller coaster is, is, works as well as this one. All right, everyone, I hope you had a great time making your roller coaster, and I hope it is a success. And before we end this video, I just wanted to share a few books that I found while I was making it. The first is called You Must Be This Tall by Steve Reinberg. And this is a short but fun story of a snake's effort to ride a roller coaster because the pig won't let him on because he is too short. And the snakes work together to try to find a solution to make him tall enough to ride. And what I really liked about this book is the illustrations are just so bright and colorful and fun. And it's like there's a clever twist. I'm not going to go too far because there's a clever twist at the end that makes that brings this story to a satisfying conclusion. And it's a great quick read, and if you need a laugh, I would highly recommend this book. And then here's the book that inspired me for this month's challenge, Build a Roller Coaster and More Engineering Challenges. And there's a, besides a roller coaster, I'm gonna show you my favorite one. And this is actually, like here's, a, and it shows you like examples of real life too. You can do an egg drop. And, but my favorite was making a chair or stool, but you could only use newspaper and tape. And what I liked is this is like, it's like kind of like an inspiration. It's not telling you what to do. It's just trying to kind of get you thinking, thinking outside the box. Cause a lot of science, like you can't just follow a list of instructions, but you have to kind of experiment and think around to make something that'll work. And overall, it is a great book to inspire new scientific ideas and inventions. And I hope you find a challenge in here that you enjoy. Thank you again for joining me for this month's super science video. I look forward to sharing more for you soon. Have a good day. Bye.